Hello everybody. So as we have seen in our last sessions that how to create printer, how to configure printer at OS level and at SAP level. Now today we will be going to see how you are going to monitor spool request and output request. So as I said the transition code for spool monitoring is SP01. With this transaction one can monitor the number of spool requests and also how many spool requests were outputted under the output request. This is a general layout of output controller like it shows how many spool requests are there and in a below uh, figure you can see that how many output requests and what is the status of the error. So this is general concept like if you see in this uh, we can also set filters to view that were successfully printed ended with error processing or waiting. So the print job can be reprinted with the original parameters or change and print to another printer or page format. So if it's cancelled you can pre reprint once again because at that time might be there was a network problem again if you try connecting it could print. So you have to reprint if it's not printing if it's throwing any error. Okay. Let us see practically like how to monitor the printers. Now I am going to SP01 hit enter. Okay now let us see uh, for the user DDIC is any output request being created or not. If I execute nothing is there here. Okay. So let us take, take an example. Okay. Slash in it's going to back to the main menu. Uh, let us go to RZ10 okay which is our profile parameters where we looked right and in this if you just I'm showing example to print some instance parameter okay so I'm selecting instance profile and extend and maintenance and display so I just want to print out this parameter name and parameter value so how to print this you have to go to system list and select print now once you select print it's asking output device right so if you have configured the output device definitely you will define it here right so no need to enter anything just hit enter here and as I told right now only out one output device so I'm taking whatever is there LP01 but in a real environment you need to know which output device you are going to print I mean like which printer you are going to print this instance profile page now it's asking how many number of copies do you want okay so continue okay so it's going to formatting set to this and hit continue now on the bottom side if you see is pull request number created without immediate output so this is how the pull request number will be created once you hit once you give the print now let us go back and see the transition code to see whether our pull request is there or not okay now yep so the print which we have given is listed here okay but this is not at went to the printer why because if I have set in the user profile that once I hit the print it should go directly to the printer output request not in the spool request so there is a difference here as already told you know when you define output immediately then it will go directly to the output request instead of staying in the spool request okay now 
from here if you select this and now if you are going to print give print then it will go to the auto request okay so if you want to check what you are uh, trying to print whether it's there or not so click on that yes we are trying to print this okay so go back select and save now this the request has been moved from is pull request to output request so this is how you give the print from the sap to the local printer so as if any user want to uh, print immediately then what you have to do you have to assign uh, saying that it should print output immediately how to assign for say example john wants that configuration to be output immediately so you can go to su01 okay and i am going to john a user okay i am going into change mode okay user john does not exist here so since i am in 000 so i have created the john in 200 sorry about that now let us go to Two zero zero, John. Basis. Now I am in two hundred. Now let us go to SU zero one and <clears throat> John. Okay, and if you click on change mode. since this is a newly created client uh, one have to give the company if you are in the real environment okay now here you have to go to default under the default you will see here output immediately or delete after output so this is if this is unchecked then as you seen like when you have hit the print button it went and it stayed in the spool request instead of staying in the spool request you can directly send it to the output request if you check this box okay and once the printer once you print the page and you doesn't want that spool um, output request to be in the sap then you can say delete after output once it get printed you don't want that to be in the system so that's why we keep both the option check usually so that the user should not get any issue so this is how we monitor the printers and how we set the parameters for a user accordingly so i hope you have understood the whole concept of print spool administration thank you so much for attending this session bye